said it once and you've said it many times before, it is severe weather season and I mean that simply oh, shows it. My goodness, and we have been in this active weather pattern for the last week, Dane, and unfortunately it is not over for us oh, just so yet. We had some storms that came through our northern counties last night, and we could be under the gun for some significant severe weather later on today. So you will need to keep it tuned to KQ2 throughout the day. This will be a good time as well to download that KQ2 mobile weather app if you haven't done so. It's free, and trust me, it could be a lifesaver come this afternoon and evening. This morning, we're waking up to cloudy skies in St. Joseph on our KQ2 tower camera. Temperatures right now sitting at 74 degrees with a south wind coming in at 10 miles per hour. So last night during the overnight hours, we did have one line of showers and thunderstorms that passed through our northern counties, giving some heavy rain, some hail over Atchison County. Now we have another round that's passing through Nebraska into Iowa and into the northern sections of the KQ2 viewing area into Atchison County once again. So Rockport, Burlington Junction, you could be dealing with these heavy rain showers in just the next 15 to 20 minutes. So keep that in mind as you're heading out the door. Now these storms are going to play a big role in our weather for today because if we can keep this rain and cloud cover for a round, it will help keep our atmosphere a little more stabilized. But unfortunately, we have all the ingredients setting up. We have a warm front setting up just to the north of St. Joseph this morning. Behind it, we have a strong storm system, this strong area of low pressure, and a cold front setting up over western Kansas. This is going to be pushing through over the next 24 hours, and this is going to play a big role in our weather, especially with our severe weather potential for later on this afternoon into the evening hours. You can see where the warm front is already setting up. In our northern counties, we're in the 60s with the cloud cover and the north winds. Where we're getting the south winds, like in St. Joseph and Kansas City, we're already sitting in the lower to middle 70s. So we're already getting that juicy atmosphere in place that is going to allow some severe storms to develop later this afternoon, especially heading into the 4 o'clock hour into the 8 o'clock time frame. Temperatures today will be topping out for the most part in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. So let's give you the complete breakdown in your KQ2 hour by hour forecast again. We are going to have some scattered showers heading into the morning hours. We're going to have the clouds sticking around through 8 a.m. with some light rain showers up in our northern counties. It's looking to stick around heading into the noontime hour. Now, if we can keep this rain and the cloud cover around, this will act like a lid preventing from any daytime heating to enter into our atmosphere and allow the atmosphere to destabilize. If we do see the sunshine peek through, that is going to allow our atmosphere to start cooking up those showers and thunderstorms later on. And we're already seeing that by 4 o'clock in Fall City and to Rockport. Lasting into the 7 o'clock hour for Maryville, Mount City, down into Atchison, into St. Joseph. Lasting throughout 8 o'clock into our eastern counties before most of the activity moves out by 11 o'clock with some light showers moving through. And then we'll have a quiet start to our Wednesday with some scattered light rain showers. Now, for today, the Storm Projection Center has us right now under a, an enhanced risk of severe weather. With all modes of severe weather possible, including a few tornadoes, this is something we're going to be watching very closely, so keep it tuned to KQ2. 80 degrees for your high today with clouds increasing with those showers and thunderstorms heading into the afternoon, into the evening hours, Dane. And finally, heading into the second half of the work week, we're finally going to calm down a bit storm-wise with our chances, but then we'll see a few more chances heading into the weekend. But today is the critical day. Definitely a critical